Okay, this is a demonstration of a Dynatel EMS 2 locator. Uh, this is an electronic marker locator. And what this does is it locates these power markers here underground up to about four feet. Uh, using this receiver and a and this uh, probe. Although this looks like a metal detector probe, it uh, <clears throat> it is designed to locate primarily these markers underground. So what happens is <clears throat> there's a transmitter in here and it sends out a signal that's resonant to these these markers. And it sort of acts like a <clears throat> like an RFID system. You know, the little devices they put on products and stores and such. So <clears throat> when you walk out the building, they go off. That's because there's a transmitter at the door that sends out a signal and it re is resonant with the, uh, the device on the product. Same concept here. This is resonant with this, with this probe. You plug it into the probe here. Probe input. Now there's two uh, settings on this. There's a marker lo uh, locate and there's a trace locate. The marker is these things here. And the trace locate is for a special transmitter. Uh, this can work as a special uh, regular pipe and cable locator, like any other pipe and cable locator, although you, you need a transmitter. I'm assuming that the, uh, the Dynatel uh, transmitters work with this, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, the reason why you would use these markers, because a regular pipe and cable locator will uh, tend to drift or couple onto pipes, uh, water pipes, gas pipes, especially you know if you got a lot of traffic underground, a lot of cables, a lot of different type of uh, uh, pipes and such. This is unique to the power cable that you're tracing because this will only pick up this marker, nothing else. And they make a variety of these markers. They make telephone markers, uh, gas markers, water main markers. And this is red, meaning it's power. Uh, water will be blue, uh, the gas will be yellow. <clears throat> There's just a, a meter here, signal strength meter, speaker, and a sensitivity knob. Now these uh, take eight uh, C-cell batteries, making up uh, 12 volts. Uh, there's a battery test here as well. Make sure your batteries are still. So you can see I got a piece of metal here. If I go over that, you can see it doesn't pick it up at all. So you know it's not a metal detector. However, if I put one of these down, I pass over it. You see the, the unit sounds off. <laughs> 